the special staff here at Reed's Saskatoon and the wonderful volunteers that, and tutors that make up this great organization do a superb job in helping people like me achieve their goals and dreams. Reed Whether Saskatoon Lonnie client Lonnie Clinton Broughton tells more than a hundred guests at the grand opening of the local literacy organization's new location how he credits his volunteer mentor and Reed Saskatoon for his recent accomplishments, including going back to school after 25 years. I'm so grateful to Rhea and Reed Saskatoon for helping me to make this dream come true. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will never forget you, Rhea, and all you have done for to help me change my life. Thank you. I have a diploma in the community service addiction diploma, I should say, um, and I graduated with distinction after my second year. And I'm working as a youth support worker in an addiction counselor. And Reed Saskatoon was there for me, and especially Rhea, my tutor. Like Broughton, Masessi Masalela and her kids found a second family within Reed, Saskatoon. Masalela says the nonprofit's free programming was invaluable to her family after they moved to Canada in 2008. It really took the financial burden off because we didn't have to spend another dollar to get a book. Literacy is more than reading and writing. It's, it's more about you being a human being, being tolerant as a person, finding out what is it about the other person that can add value to your life. Reed Saskatoon's executive director says still to this day, many people in the province experience difficulties when it comes to basic literacy. We know provincially that one in three people struggle with literacy, so 16 years of age and older on a daily basis so reading and writing is hard it's uh, not as easy as everyone thinks and so you know we provide an opportunity for people to say when they're struggling this is a place where I can come I can feel safe Reed Saskatoon's new location on 7th and Duchess Street has many benefits for their volunteers and clients. We've got a bus stop now that's just right on the corner of our street. It is seriously 30 steps from the bus stop to our front door. And I think the bigger part is that literacy is an issue and it's a very, very important issue that needs to be addressed. We can't be hidden away. We need to be street front and we need others to know that they can come here. Creating free community literacy programming for more than 30 years, the organization is looking forward to a new chapter at their new home in City Park.